You are now watching Now That's TV. Hey, you guys, it's your girl Megan James, and you are now tuned in to the Hollywood Group Chat Podcast. Period. And today, we have my girl Jaden Alexis as our special guest. Hey, friend. That's all you got to say? We got you all the way from L.A. to the A, <laughs> bitch. All you got to say is, hey, friend. Hey, friend. We lit. <laughs> we lit. We lit. We lit. Okay, I don't know if you guys know, but Jaden Alexis is Blueface's baby mom, baby mother, child's mother. Um, but that's not all she is. Jaden has a lot of cool things going on, so we're going to get into it, into the podcast, okay? Period. Okay. So, Jaden, I like to start off my guests with a little game, some little games, because I like to take shots, clearly. Right, let's play. Oh, so you're going to take a shot before the game. Okay. Uh, well, uh, 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 uh. Cheers. Right, you're right, you're right. right. Okay, so the first game we're going to play is How Well Do You Know Your Baby Daddy? Damn. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Go on. So you have 20 seconds. You only have 20 seconds to answer all five of these questions. All right. Okay. okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. The first question is, what college did your baby daddy go to? Fayetteville in North Carolina. Mm. Correct. <laughs> um, what is your baby daddy's birthday? Uh, January 20th, 97. Correct. Right, right. Okay. Um, what was the name of your baby daddy's first album mixtape or the first thing he dropped? What was the name of it? Oh. Ooh. Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Famous Crip? I don't know. Y'all, what was it? Because I don't even know. That was the first tape. Mm. It ain't? Okay, oh, that's right. It was correct, y'all. Somebody in, uh, in the go. background said it was correct. Correct. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so the, the, the last question, because this is no fun because you're not getting shit wrong, but okay. we're glad you know your baby daddy, right? Because some people don't even know their baby daddy. That is true. True, right? Okay. That's true. So, which president <laughs> does your baby daddy have tattooed on his face? Oh, Ben Frank. Period. Period. Okay, ding, 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 ding. Oh, winner. So, no shots for this game. Okay. So you know your baby daddy well, and we have a lot of questions to ask you about your baby daddy, but we're going to get into that a little bit later, okay? All right. Let's go. Okay, so the second game we're going to play is this or that. This is one of my okay. favorite games. I always play this with people that I really don't know that well. When I go on dates, I'm always playing this or that with niggas because I be wanting to know, like, this or that, okay? You trying to go on a date or what? Oh. oh. Uh, okay, we're going to get there, too. We're going to get there, too. <laughs> All right, Okay, cool. So the rose toy or the wine? Oh, okay. Well, no cap. I ain't never tried the rose. Mm, you need to try that rose. I got, I got the one. You got the one? So yeah, the one. So the one. Okay. So short and thick dicks <laughs> or long and skinny? Okay. Oh, well, I've only seen one. Wait. What do you mean? I've only seen one dick. You've only had sex with one man in your whole life. That's facts. And that's your baby daddy? That's facts. Oh, bitch, you're rare. I'm rare. You're rare. I'm special. So is it short and thick or long and skinny? It's long and thick and all of the above. All of the above? Except short. Don't do that. So, so Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. So it's long and thick. Okay, cool. Um, Nikki or Cardi? Dang. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Cardi. Why? I fuck with her vibe more. I like, okay. I like, you know, I like me a little hood, a little, uh, uh, I, yeah, yeah. Um, Lil Durk or NBA Youngboy? Uh, Lil Durk. Why? Because I'm an India for show. Okay, you you are an India I'm for an India show. I'm an India for show. You only <laughs> have one dick in your whole life. Yeah. You know what? If I could take back all the dicks I ever had in life, I would only just, I would love to just be a one dick bitch. I, you know, I'm stamping on it. Like keep keep that one dick until you find the, the dick that's gonna treat you the be better. I'm steering clear. I'm, of all, sure I'm steering clear of all dicks. <laughs> okay, so do you like girls? I do. I do. Okay, because I dibble and dabble. You give that little, um, you know, you I, might go both ways. Bob. I do. But I we do. gonna talk about that later too. Oh, one more question. Go. Um, Carlissa, Blueface's <laughs> sister, or his mama. If one was dying, or not dying, if one was drowning in the Red Sea, You're which one you gonna save? You're wild. Um, probably the mama. Why? I'm gonna save the mama. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna say what's her name? The mama. What's the mama name? Oh, Carlissa. Sorry, my bad. Her mo the mama's name is Carlissa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the sister name? Kevin. Oh, bitch! Wrong question. Wrong question. Krishan or Carlissa? 
Oh, Carlissa. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Carlissa, hands down, period. Okay. So if Blueface was never your baby dad, right. what other rapper would you have loved to have a baby with? <gasps> Damn. You got a crush, sis? I don't got no crush, but... I mean, Nick Cannon doing his thing over there. <laughs> it probably would be like Nick Cannon me because he he giving no problems. He over there, no problems. He just handing them out. Like, I know, but it's... The, I don't want no problems. But it's the bitches that are not giving him problems. I ain't giving no problems. I'm so, chilling. Okay, so Nick If Cannon. I could have less problems, I would be cool with less problems. Okay. He doing too much. Okay, cool. Like the baby doing too much. Little baby doing too much. You they, think so? I know so. How you know? They do too much. You see them everywhere. Nick Cannon out here happy as a motherfucker. But Nick Cannon is 50, <laughs> Nick Cannon is 50 years old, though, and little Baby 24 or 28 or something. I want no problems. You want no problems? No problems. Okay, no problems. Okay, Jaden, so we know that you're from L.A. Um, like, tell us about, like, growing up in L.A., what part of L.A. are you from? Are you from the hood? Are you from the suburbs? Like, what's nah, tea? I, I grew up all over, like, the Valley area. Um, only time I really went over there was with my BD, so... <laughs> How was it growing up in the valley? It's cool. I saw a lot. You know, you know, my dad wasn't in, around that much, so it was just like I'm from all girls. So it was, I'm on my girly shit. You know, mm -hmm. that's why sometimes I'm trying to be tomboy because it's like I'm not with the girly shit all the time. Mm -hmm. But it was cool. I ain't have no problems for real. So your businesses, right? You're an entrepreneur as well as a mother, right? Right. Okay, so um, I did some research on your baby face, skin, and body. I'm really proud of that because I'm so for, you know, women empowerment, Thank you. women entrepreneurs. Tell us a little bit about your face and body products. Um, so I want to say like three years ago, I went, I started esthetician school. Um, I've always been into skin, so I started going to school for that. Um, and then I came up with my name, and then I have a suite in the Glendale Mall where I have, uh, where I rent it out for like lashes, teeth whitening. I, do, I used to do facials in there. I just had the baby, so it ain't popping like how I used to be. But Girl, I be needing facials. I'm going to come visit. Come visit. I'm at the <laughs> Glendale Mall. Just let me know. Tap in. Um, I got a couple girls in there doing lashes, teeth, all that. Um, I'm relaunching my line before the end of year for show. Um, but yes, yeah, all skin, beauty shit, period. Okay, so you say that you don't want no problems and you don't like problems, <laughs> but I know you be getting in fights and that type of thing. Like, like, are you a lover? Are you a fighter? Like, what's good? I'm a lover for sure, but don't test me, my gangster. That's that's that. Like, I hate, but don't test me. But I'm I'm a lover. So like, you're not gonna let nobody play in your face. No, you're not. Okay. I'm I not respect. Doing, that. I'm not doing that. But I'm chilling though. I'm a lover. Okay, so why did your Instagram get deleted if you don't like drama? <laughs> like, only people that be in dramas Instagrams get deleted. So what ha happened? Okay, so. I don't know. I wasn't doing, I wasn't, I was having a good time. It was happening like the day after my birthday, literally. I don't know. There was a bunch of shit going on. And uh -uh, I just, uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> we ain't gonna cut the interview short now. What was going on? I don't know. There was sex tapes being dropped on my birthday. And Wait, all you that. have a sex tape? Not mine. But you do have one? In my, for sure. Oh. Yeah, in, in the archives, but they was not mine. And I just woke up like, Oh, I know y'all not playing with me, like, on my birthday. Wait, start over, because we don't know who you're talking about. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Blue had a little something going on. They had dropped. I, I, I don't think he did it, but we woke, we woke up to it, and we was confused. Oh, wait. So Facts. we, as in you and Blue, Facts. woke up to it. You good? Where you sleep? You good, cuz? What's up? Right. In the same bed? Right. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get my little birthday thing. Like, what? Wait. Don't blue face got, got a girlfriend. Ain't her name Krishan? Like, if that's what they call it. Okay, so y'all sister wives? Oh, no. It's not okay, that. so is blue still your, is that your, is he your sneaky link now? Did you go from the main <laughs> bitch to the sneaky link? Like, nah, like, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm not, I'm vibing. We vibe. We, we're cool. Like, that's my family forever. But mm -hmm. I'm not, the woman I've grown up to be, like, is not, I'm not, like, chasing after dick no more. So if you want to be on that, go be on that. If I needed some birthday dick, I'm going to get some birthday dick. Like. Right. So you basically have no respect for Krishan and Blueface's relationship? No, nah, I don't give a fuck. It's fuck it. <laughs> it's fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Right. Why, though? Uh, because when me and him was in a relationship, ain't nobody show me no respect. So, shit, fuck it. Right. No, I feel that. 
So, um, is it difficult having a baby daddy, like a famous baby daddy or a baby daddy like Blueface? Um, I would say at first it was. Like, it was like, because we went from nothing to a bunch of shit. So, it was, it was hard at first. Now, I feel like I'm just... Explain cool. going from nothing. Like, how long have you guys known each other? Uh, we've been, I've known him for 10 years now. So, like... We met in high school. Uh, um, yeah, I guess we was high school sweethearts. That's cute. It was high. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, and then he ended up going to college. He came back, and we was on our, we was just grinding. And then we was staying at my mom's. Um, you know, we went from staying in a car to my mom's, because I was like, we ain't doing that. You know? Like, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like that. And then I got pregnant. Um, we had our son and we was just grinding and then he blew up mm. and shit changed. That's, that's, as that. it always does. Cause yeah. these niggas always change when they get a couple pieces of change. Yeah. And I tried to hold it down. I held the fort down for a minute, but now I'm just focused on me and my kids mm -hmm. and whatever happens, happens. So I'm assuming that, you know, you, you guys seem that you, like you have a good co-parenting relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, are you the type of woman that believes in child support? Um, because 50 Cent's son, that son said that $6,000 a month isn't enough in child support. So <laughs> Is that what he said? That's what he said. Damn. And okay. I'm with him because babies are expensive and I don't even have any. No, they are. Um, it's a lot. You know, I be doing my little shit on the side. Um, I don't, if he was to type to be like, oh, I'm not giving you shit, then I would obviously take him and do what I had to do. But me and him have an understanding. We are able to communicate, um... So as long as he hold up his bargain, I'm holding up mine. And I'm not the type of bitch that'd be like, you can't come see your kids because you doing this or that. Like, I'll never be that bitch. I didn't have my dad, so I'm not going to be that bitch. Me neither. You know, I, I, I'm yeah. not going to be that type of bitch, and I would never be no matter what happened. So, you know, if he hold up his end, I hold up mine. So, But 6000 though, is that not enough or is that too much for it's a like, baby he, in L.A.? He, he giving me a little more than that now. But, oh. <laughs> but Can we get a number? Ding, 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 ching, ching. It's more than that. Ten? A little less. Okay. I mean, ten thousand. It's, it's between. It's between that. Like and, eight it and it varies. You know, what if he's doing good, I'm doing good. If he, yeah. If it's a little slower, it's a little slower, and I'm not mad about it. You know, I'm gonna always make shit shake if I had to. Right. And that's the type of bitch I am. So I mean, but we're cool. And we're very well. We're very well off. Like my kids are taken care of. Javon just started kindergarten. Oh, um, he's so cute. My daughter just is about to turn three months. So mm -hmm. you know, we're good. Blessed. Okay, so since you only seen one dick in your whole life, <laughs> yeah. let's get back to this bisexuality, LBGTQ, did I miss a letter? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay, so I love the gays. I really do. All my, like, really good friends are mostly gay boys. I love the gays. I love going out in WeHo. It's just a good time. Mm -hmm. But how many pussies have you <laughs> ate in eight. your... Eight. Oh, yeah. shit. You've only seen one dick, so how many pussies have you ate? Um, what's it taste like? Well, shit, like the bitches I'm fucking with, they taste like water. They taste like water. Yeah, I ain't fucking with no weird bitch. Okay, so, so explain. What's your type? Um, I just vibe. I'm not. I'm not really typey. Like sometimes I like like pretty bitches. Sometimes I'm more like the tomboy bitch. Like it just. I'm more off vibe. It's not really like a type. Um, and you know, I'm just going off vibes. I'm not really like, oh, like I only like pretty bitches or I only like tomboy bitches or dyke bitches or whatever i'm just chilling like i'm vibing so have you ever had a threesome with one of your bitches and your baby dad um one of my bitches no would you do that for sure probably so you would be like john john what you call him what's no. his nickname <laughs> <laughs> no i call him when i'm talking to him i call him jonathan or it depends what we doing Daddy. It depends what we doing, but mostly I call him. I don't call him. Daddy. When I'm talking to him, I ain't calling him Blue. But when I talk to other people, obviously I call him that because they don't refer to him as Jonathan. That's a little weird to me. So have you ever had a threesome with Jonathan? Yeah. We have. Who picked the girl? Um, It was one of his little little things. And he's tried to do other bitches too. Like, And I'm just like, you, ain't, you don't deserve that right now. So. Okay. If he behaved, we'd be cool, but he ain't behaving. So. Okay, you guys. So. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Period. So, question. Do you watch Betty South? Uh, Zeus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think about Betty South on Zeus? Messy. And? Mm, maybe a little sloppy. How, like, explain. It's, it's entertaining, though. I, I give it that. But Okay, it, what do you like about it? What do you don't like? Like, give us um, some tea. I like that they... 
it's entertaining. They always, they, they fight. They, it's the fighting part. That's mm-hmm. what everyone is tuning in to watch. Like, nobody cares if they're friends or not, for real. Mm-hmm. But it, it's, a, it's borderline messy, like, sloppy, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's cool, though. Like, I, I'll, you know, it's entertaining, no cap, but Would sloppy. you ever do Betty South? I mean, or I, north or east or west. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, it just depends who on it. Like, that's that. Um, okay, yeah. so you, you're basically saying that you would do reality TV. For sure, yeah. So apparently, allegedly, mm-hmm. allegedly, you right. don't have to say that. Um, so I heard that Zeus is coming out with a baby mama show. Mm-hmm. Clearly after I did the Side Chicks of LA, but whatever. It's no tea, no shade. Do right. y'all. But I heard that um, Zeus is doing a Baby Mamas of L.A. Is that what it's called? Or is it called L.A. Baby Mamas? I've heard that. Either one. Either one? Yeah. Um, and I see a lot of people, like, tagging you to be on this show. Mm-hmm. So is that, like, in the works for you? Um, I'm with it. Let me know. Sure. I mean, have there been any conversations? I, I mean, there's a little here and there through people that I know, but we'll see what's up. Because allegedly, once again, right. allegedly. Yeah, huh I heard that um, Chris Sean sat down with a couple of the executive producers of uh, the Baby Mamas of L.A. show right. and said that if you had anything to do with anything Zeus, that she was done with them. So um, it looks like Sis allegedly mm-hmm. is trying to stop your bag. So did um, you hear that? or it, it, I, I have, and I ain't tripping. You can't stop nothing that I, if, if I ain't on it, ain't no show. Period. It would be it would be bullshit. But like, I don't you can't don't play with my bag because it's gonna come. Karma's a bitch. So you want to play with my money and play with my kids? Be my guest. See what happens. Okay, so obviously I have nothing against Krishan. Like I don't know her. I've never met her right. or whatever. She seems like she's a fun girl, whatever, or whatnot. But just as a woman, like, okay, me, I'm like a real solid bitch, especially like when I'm with a nigga, right? Mm-hmm. So if my nigga. Had a baby mom and had kids by my baby mom. Right. Had a kids by her his baby mom, obviously. Mm-hmm. I'm not about to stop my nigga's baby mom's bag because it's putting food in his kid's mouth. Facts. So. It's childish. It's childish. But, I mean, Krishan is young. Childish. But so are you. The, the stability is clearly different. I mean, what do you mean? Mentally. <laughs> Mentally just different. So, how do you feel about her having seven tattoos of blue face on, tatted on her body? childish it's not mental stability not there <laughs> like i mean i wish i was that in love with somebody i've never been that in love i don't i don't even have do you have blue face tattoos it's on you anywhere stupid um yeah on my ass is it his face N- hell no nah. <laughs> just his name just his name i've always wanted to get a nigga name tattooed on my neck yeah it was, it was cool stamped and approved like, stamped and approved you know but like let's get back to mental health right right so mental health is very important. Like it's a topic that's not really discussed at really. all. Mm-hmm. Um, because I've always heard that like when you're like broken, like you fall off a bike, right? You get a scratch. Like you can see that bruise. I feel like Kanye West said this. You can see that bruise. Like <laughs> you get in a car accident, you scratch your face, you can see that bruise. Right. But like when your brain is broken or, or when stuff is going on in your head, people don't see that. Yeah. And I feel like people should pay more attention to you know, things that are going on in people's heads just because, like, you can't see it doesn't mean that it's not happening. For sure. So do you personally think that, Krishan, there's something mentally wrong with her? Or do you just think she in love? Because I've been in love before, just not that deep. Uh, I mean, I can't speak for nobody's what they think, but, I mean, clearly something just not, the math is not mathing. It's just not adding up to me. My opinion, I don't know. I mean, do you, is she doing anything for clout? Is it giving clout? I th- oh, it's giving. I need attention. I need clout for sure. But I mean, do what you got to do. But karma's a bitch. Don't don't poke a bear. Do anything, anything for clout. clout. You know what I'm saying? So if, it's giving that. I forgot the rest of the words. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, for sure giving that. But I mean, every tables always turn. So I ain't tripping. Okay, so allegedly. Right. Because that's my new favorite word. I learned, <laughs> I learned it from the OJ documentary. Okay. Because remember that nigga kept saying, allegedly I did this. Allegedly, allegedly I did that. Fit. Allegedly it didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so allegedly, um, Krishan was pregnant. Like, how do you feel about that? Or or was that alleged? Was that cap? I mean. What I mean, did your baby daddy say about that? Um, He said it was cap. But I mean, again, I'll never know. I don't think anyone would ever know for sure but them. But all I know is it ain't 
it ain't here, it ain't happened. So I think that's I think that speaks more volumes than what anyone would say was happening. So are you fucking your baby daddy like raw dog? For sure. <laughs> and do you think that I mean if Krishan was allegedly pregnant, that means he's probably fucking her raw dog too, right? I mean, I can only speak on my shit. I'm saying allegedly. Allegedly. I, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. So you don't ever be scared for your vagina? I mean, I ain't tripping. If something was happening to me, I would know. Okay. You know? That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Whatever they do is what they do. Right, but like, have you ever seen that little thing on Instagram where they stick the cucumber in the dirty water and then they put it back in the clean water? Right. The I mean, I'm good. You're good? Okay, I'm as good. long as you're good, we good. I'm good, so I ain't tripping off none of that. Like, what they do over there ain't got nothing. I don't want to be. It does have something to do with you, though. It do, but it don't. I mean. Like, not, like, personal. Well, I don't know. Like, that's your body. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I'm not even. I'm not. Like, I, I think are that real. everyone's thinking, like, oh, he over. We doing it every day or something. Like, it's not consistent. So Oh, it's if, just every you, blue moon. Yeah, when, I, when I'm feeling like it. Like, if, you know, if that's what it is. Like. So, the dick come on your time, not on his time. For sure. Period. So he never call you in the middle of the night and be like, well, I miss you. Of course he do. But and you be like, come. Sometimes I'll be like, not answer. Or sometimes I'll be like, whatever. If that's what it is. Why are you so like nonchalant? You act like you don't care. Do you still love this man? I mean, that's my family. That's my baby daddy. Of course I love him. Are but... you in love with him? <sighs> um, that's sticky. I don't know. I don't know. I love him, of course. But I so think I'm more focused on just focusing on myself like I'm, I'm open to anything i'm not stopping nothing from happening because of him put it that way you know what i'm saying i'm open to whatever but i think that me and him are on different paths the woman i am like i'm a cater to you wifey you know india type of bitch and he's not on that like he doesn't he's not on that so i'm not gonna keep wasting my time but it seems to me as if like you're not really open to finding another man like, what if Prince Charming is just like, Jaden, like, I really like you. Like, you going to, you find, what if you find another, like, a, the guy of your dreams? Like, are you willing to put, of course, like, Blue's your family, right? Right. But are you willing to put, like, whatever your love for him to the side and actually try to find someone else? I'm open to it, yeah. Like, I, I am open to so it. So you're actively dating? I mean, yeah, I'm open to it. But I just had a baby two months ago. It's not like, that's, like, that's not the hottest shit to say. You know what I mean? Like. No one asked if you were fucking. We asked if you were going out to eat with these niggas. I would. I would. Oh. I ain't okay. say nobody slid in the DMs or nothing. I'm just saying, like. Okay. So, what are your views on domestic violence? I feel like, um, you know, people always look at domestic violence as, like, physical violence. But I feel like domestic violence should be categorized as mental, um, mental abuse as well. For sure. Um, have you ever experienced, like, experienced a domestic violence situation or... Like mental abuse from, I guess, your baby dad since he's the only guy that you've ever been with? I mean, I wouldn't say abuse. I mean, I think the situation was toxic, you know. I would say toxic more than abuse, you know. That's so you never slapped him upside the head because the last time I remember seeing a clip. Oh, I for sure have slapped him. Because that gives domestic <laughs> violence. So clear. what he did. You see what he do? Like, that's, that, or even just talking to me crazy. Like, no what facts. The, like, what who the fuck are you talking is, to? Yeah, who, what, what did you just say? Yeah. Are you okay? Is, are you good? Cause, like, <laughs> you all right? Like, no. Like, I mean, yeah, I've slapped him for sure. I ain't going to say I didn't, mm -hmm. but don't, don't try me. Yeah, you can't play be, my face. Care, be careful now. Watch how you handle me. Yeah, like, be careful now. Yeah. So, okay, you're a mother of two. You just had a cute yeah. little baby girl. Thank right? you. Right? So you have a boy and a girl now, right? Yes, I'm done. Um, how does it feel to be a mom? Like, tell me some stuff about motherhood, because I want a child, but I don't have none. Um, it's hard. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cap. It's hard. Um they say one is one and two is like ten, and that's true. Like I think I was underprepared for what it was happening. Um, but their blessings nonetheless. I feel like I definitely changed after having my daughter. Um, just mentally, physically, I just changed, like, it was, like, no bullshit, like, what we doing? If it's not that, it's this, so, it's hard, you know, and people don't emphasize about postpartum enough, they don't talk about that enough, they don't talk about... So, what's postpartum? Because, I mean, I've only heard of it, like, what does it feel like? Um, does it feel like you're on your period times 50, or, like, what is it? No, it's more, I say it's more mental, like, you know, you can, I can deal with, you know, the physical aspect of postpartum, that's nothing, but people don't talk about the mental because you have so much emotion running through you, you got this little baby, I had a five-year-old at the same time, you know what I'm saying, and a baby daddy that's doing crazy shit you could even think of, and... 
it's hard, but you know, you push through and it, and it, it, you know, it comes to an end eventually. Like I was super emotional, but it's cool though. I'm, they're my blessings. I would never take it back for nothing. So like, what are your favorite things about your kids? You know, like kids do like the craziest little stuff. Like, does your son go around like screaming, like bust down Tatiana? Like, does he do anything cute like, like that? Not like, he just is so energetic and so caring like he cares about he he asked me if i'm okay every like Aww, every hour like you, okay? you good mom you good mom i'm like yeah bro i'm good oh, <laughs> like, i'm good so he just cute. asked me but like he genuinely cares and my daughter journey she she already has this little personality she's smiling laughing already so i'm blessed so less. do you trust um to drop your kids off with blue face baby mama i mean with blue face mama because i wouldn't drive my kids off to her his mom, no, I, I mean, I don't, I don't mess with her no more. So it's like, oh, she's not, she not, I'm not, I'm not cool with them. So, and why? Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take a shot. Oh, let's get into it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. This one, hold on. Mm. I'm not cool with her because, or the sister, let's be clear. Those was my peoples. I consider them my family's like, I would go to bat about them. Nobody could tell me shit about, not even my own family could tell me shit about them. I, I didn't care that it was my people, but once you, st like, I could have got over all the little shit that we had went through. Like, you, you argue with your family, you bicker, you call each other, whatever, do whatever. But I will never get over the fact, like, that you would go and befriend or flaunt, like, my op to purposely get back at me. And they admitted to purposely doing it to be funny. Like, mm -hmm. So if you purposely try to hurt me or you purposely try to be slick, like, you ain't hurt me. You just look dumb. Like, and now I'm not fucking with you ever. Like, and it doesn't, it's never going to matter. Like, mm -hmm. I can never get over that. Right. So no, I feel you. that's why I don't, that's why I don't mess with them for real. I mean, you know, if you my people, like, I, that's where I draw the line. Like, my op, you want to try to purposely be funny. like. And you're you talking know. about Krishan, right? Yeah, like, they try but, to purposely be funny. like. But that's still... Blueface's new girlfriend, so are they wrong? I mean, it was only wrong because they did it purposely. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I had just left the house two days ago. And you know what I'm saying? And you y'all was just talking smack. Like, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it just, it was giving like cloud chasing or whatever you want to, like whatever, just weird. And they, they admitted to purposely like being funny, like mm -hmm. to try to hurt my feelings or something. Right. But you ain't hurt my feelings. Like it ain't nothing to cut nobody off. Like, Okay, I have a question. Yes. So Miss Carlissa asked to be online all the time. Talking about, okay, so Blueface has this main bitch that nobody knows about. Who is this bitch yeah, that nobody know. knows about? She's I like, know. it's not. She's like, it's not the ones y'all think. He got a main girl that nobody knows about. Who, Miss Carlissa? Who is this girl? Your guess is as good as mine. They are all crazy. <laughs> they are nuts, okay? I don't know. I don't know who the mystery girl is. All I know is what I do. What he do when he with me, and that's it. Okay, you guys, you heard it from Jaden, right? He do what he do when he with me, and that's T, period. We'll be right back. So, back to the shots, back to the games. Oh, psh, go ahead, start off with a shot. Okay, fuck. Okay. So, this game, Jaden, is called What Would You Do? Okay. I'm going to read you a sentence, and you're going to tell me what you would do in this case scenario. Okay. Okay. So, you came home from a girl's night and your man, or your baby daddy, was knocked out in the bed and you found a condom wrapper in the trash can. What would you do? At my house? At your house. I'm shooting the shit up. I'm sorry. At my house? At your house. And he got a condom in the bed? A condom wrapper in the trash can at your house that wasn't there before you left. I'm shooting shit up. What you gonna shoot? The, everybody. <laughs> I don't care who there. So you gonna what? wake him up with like a hot frying pan or water? What you gonna do? He sleep. He knocked out. Boiling water. Boiling water. Acid. What are you talking about? In my bed and there's a kind of in my house? Oh yeah, no, that's not happening. Okay, so um, warning to you, blue face. Uh, don't do be that. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so question number two: What would you do if Blue had a baby with Krishan and she named her Sean Jaden? I mean her her. Sorry. Scratch. What would you do if Blueface had a baby with Krishan and she named her kid Jaden or Javon? <laughs> what? That's insane. Um, I don't even like this question. But what would you do? I don't. I don't know if I should say what I would do on on the camera. Why she can't name her baby Jaden? What if she Jaden? What the fuck? Why would you do that? That's so weird. 
So, that, I mean, that adds up, but as so. Would you, I would take it as flattery. I mean, if you want to call your kid after me, then. Then so be it, right? Yeah, I mean, shit. Do you. Okay, cool. So we're moving on to the next game to get your shots ready because I don't know how much music you know, and I'm a music head. All right, cool. Okay, cool. So this game is called Finish the Lyrics. Oh, <laughs> fuck. And I'm going to give you some lyrics to some of the hottest songs in the streets right now. And I'm going to say a line, and we're going to go line for line. Okay. All right? Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off with I be in the loop, she be with a group. That's all I get? Yeah. She be in the loop. I gotta right, say, bitch. okay, 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 fuck. What the fuck song is that? It's Lil Baby. I be in a loop, she be with a group. Brody want a friend. What song is this? You not black. I forgot. Never mind. I am black. What the fuck? I don't even know what the fucking song is called, but everybody exactly. know that song. What the fuck? What's the song called, y'all? Right. <laughs> she don't even know the guy. It's Lil Baby, but I know all the lyrics. I, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do a song that I'm gonna still take a shot, but what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna do a song that I know the title of. Let's see. I'm F R E E fuck nigga free. <laughs> I ain't gotta worry about no fuck nigga G. And I'm S I N G L E again. I ain't hanging out the window with my wretched ass friends. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, no shot on that one. Let's see. I'm gonna do one more. I'm um, riding with my twin and them. My twin and them. What song is this? Oh, the Glow Real thing? Yeah. Oh. I don't know my twin and them. Oh no. What's the next one? <laughs> right, like what the fuck? Right, we want. Oh, it's, it's looking good as fuck. That's the song. All right, start over. Start over. Oh, all right, right, right. It's fine. Riding with my twin and them. Riding with my twin and them. All I know is I think you pussy bitches should scissor. Something like that, right? I don't know. It's not the next line. Shut up. 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 This is, um, we're coming to the end of the podcast. This is like the conclusion part. You feel me? I really want to know, like, what do you have planned next for yourself? Like, what's up next for Jaden? Like, what can the fans and the foes look forward to? The foes. Um, I for sure am dropping, relaunching my line um, before the end of the year. Um, I know y'all going to be seeing me a lot, for sure. I feel it. I'm up next. I ain't tripping. Um, other than that, I'm just sticking to what I know, being a mom, and that's it. A rider. A rider. I love to I'm see staying it. staying down for myself and my kids, nonetheless. Facts. Like. Hey, y'all, it's Jaden Alexis, and I'm, you're tuned in to the Hollywood group chat, period. Period! <laughs> and that's a wrap. Let's go. Woo!